Hey everyone, Matt Pridham again with another iSnipe video tutorial. Okay, so we touched on it a little bit in the first video, but let's talk about settings a little bit deeper. Uh, each one of these input boxes you notice has a units drop down box here. Uh, we can click each of these and uh, it gives us a few different options. And a lot of people, the first question they ask when they start going through and, and they see all of these uh, different units is, why didn't you just have a setting button that says Imperial and Metric and just change them all with one click of the button? And it's a good question, uh, and it's something we certainly thought about doing. But unfortunately, of the 290-some sovereign nations, uh, there's really only two that are wholeheartedly either metric or imperial. Uh, everybody else uses some sort of crazy bastardized version of the both. And so because of that, we've, we've really allowed really fine grain control here, allowing each one to be uh, entered as you like. Um, and then on top of that, uh, we've allowed for these input units to differ from the units you see on your output screen. This of course adds another layer of complexity and confusion, uh, something we get a fair number of, of questions about, uh, but we felt it was very, very necessary. Mostly for people that um, are going to competitions or shooting in areas that uh, you know are out of country or or uh, out of their particular zone, and and maybe they're used to entering things in metric, but now they're going to the United States to uh, shoot a competition, and they would like things put out in in imperial, uh, or perhaps vice versa. So we've left things uh, a very very fine grain control. So let's go through that quickly. All of your input units are for your sake. Uh, these things are for you and as you enter them. If you think of muzzle velocity in <coughs> meters per second, then, then use meters per second. Uh, that goes for everything down here, uh, except for the ballistic coefficient, which really is uh, you know the, the ballistic coefficient that's being listed. Uh, if it doesn't say, and it's written on a box, you can you can um, uh, default to G1. Uh, typically, uh, the other one that you'll see listed on a box is the G7. They will specifically say that. The rest of these, though, uh, are, again, just for uh, your thinking and, and how you want to enter the data. Then we have some uh, output settings set in the settings button. So we can go ahead and click there and uh, scroll down a little bit here and you can see the output settings section. And this is where we control the settings for that big long list we see when we hit compute. And we can go through and choose any of the units we like. Uh, in the top right corner here is the default unit that we uh, use you know, by default when we first install. Uh, so if you find yourself lost and you've got them all messed up, you can always go back to the way it was. So let's do a quick demonstration of that. Okay, so let's go down and change our step size to meters. Uh, now the first thing to mention is if we leave a value in here for the sake uh, 10 yards and we go ahead and change it to meters, it'll convert that for us. That's a handy little tool. You don't have to use it. And we'll go ahead and change this. Uh, let's say we would like it to output every 10 meters. Uh, that, that's good. And we go ahead and co hit compute. And you notice over here, <laughs> it's a little weird. We've got 10.9, 21.9, 32.8. This doesn't seem right. And what's going on, of course, is that up here, you'll notice our range is being output in yards. So what we'll have to do is just go back, head into the settings, scroll to the bottom, and we'll just go ahead and change our range to meters. And click back, and now if we do a compute, you'll notice we get it counted out every 10 meters. And of course, uh, each of the column headings across the top here uh, can have their units changed uh, just like we did. That pretty much covers it for units, and I'll see you guys in the next video.